James Clerk Maxwell was a Scottish physicist born 13th of June 1831, and despite being one of the greatest minds of the 19th century, he's often forgotten by history. His achievements range from colour contributions, Maxwell Boltzmann distribution, Saturn's rings makeup, unifying electricity and magnetism. Yes, unifying the whole of electricity with the whole of magnetism. Obviously, he didn't start out a great physicist, but he didn't take long. He was born in Edinburgh and spent his time growing up amongst the lakes and fields of his Glenlair house, the estate his parents owned. He was a curious child, asking questions to everyone about everything. His mother used to say, look up to nature. He did not fit in in school. He was sent to the Edinburgh Academy to complete his education. He had a passion for drawing and was captivated by the idea of colour. He loved geometry and wrote his first scientific paper aged just 14. His work was presented at the prestigious Royal Society of Edinburgh, but he was deemed too young to give the lecture himself. In 1850, he went to study at the University of Cambridge at Trinity College. His knowledge of science and religion increased exponentially. He graduated with the second highest score with a degree of mathematics, and in 1855, he made huge advances in the field of vision, proving the constituents of colour by spinning colour wheels like so, to see how they combine to form other ones. Use a camera phone to see how colours mix. Try not to hurt your eyes though. After that, he left Cambridge to go back to Scotland to work at the University of Aberdeen. He was only 25 and was 15 years younger than any of his peers. He loved poetry, singing and playing the guitar and was a bit socially awkward. He had multiple dogs throughout his life, all of which he curiously named Toby. He focused on Saturn's rings, which perplexed astronomers for years, and using solely mathematics, he determined in yet another paper that Saturn's rings were millions of tiny particles. It wasn't until more than a hundred years later, in 1980, when Voyager finally proved Maxwell's prediction. He got a gap in Saturn's rings named after him. He also has a mountain range named after him on Venus. He befriended the principal at the college he worked at, and swiftly married the principal's daughter, Catherine. She was seven years older than him, and they were completely in love with each other. He was laid off by the university, and after recovering from smallpox, he took up a job at King's College in London. It was here he developed the world's first colour photograph of a tartan bow, using his colour theory. He met an older scientist who shared mutual respect with him, a master in his own right, Michael Faraday. They shared experiments on magnetism and electricity, and how changing one created the other through invisible force fields. With Faraday's data and his own ingenuity, he unified electricity and magnetism into one electromagnetism. They were two sides of the same coin. Everything to do with electromagnetic waves could be described by these four equations, Maxwell's equations. Mobile phones, rainbows, conservation of charge, and the speed of light. He was made head of the Cavendish Laboratory in Cambridge, and despite all of his achievements, he was third choice. He died on the 5th of November, 1879, aged just 48. His mother died at the same age of the same disease. He is buried at Parton Kirk near his beloved Glenlair, with a small gravestone indistinguishable from the rest. His legacy lives on, not just in the name of NVIDIA 900 GPUs, or hopefully on banknotes, but years after his death, when the Berlin Wall fell, busloads of Russian scientists arrived in this small settlement in Scotland to see the grave of the father of modern physics. James Clerk Maxwell brought physics out of the classical and into the future.